everybody it's Catherine and welcome to my channel now um, it's <laughs> do you know he's got I'm sure he waits for me to start talking this dog um, <laughs> are you comfy now yes um, yeah sorry see he's put me off me uh, what I was going to say trying to make this you know trying to make this all serious <laughs> and, and professional and then you always get, you know, dogs and kids that run into the frame, don't you? Um, so welcome to uh, Friday's Short Story Reads. And I'm going to uh, read another story from Little Tales of Misogyny by Patricia Highsmith. Now, because I've had such a great um, reading month in March and it's Mystery Madness March, and completed the challenge I thought yeah it'd be nice just to feature uh, another short story from this collection and um, just to sort of round everything up and then uh, everybody hang on because I'm going to announce at the end uh, a giveaway and um, I think that's uh, quite going to be quite exciting so um, yeah let's start with the short story and um, see if you like it so this one's called A Middle Class Housewife. Pamela Thorpe considered women's lib one of those silly protest movements that journalists like to write about to fill their pages. Women's lib claimed to want independence for women, whereas Pamela believed that women had the upper hand over men anyway. So what was all the fuss about? The reason this question arose at all was because Pamela's daughter Barbara came home in June after graduating from university and told her mother that there was going to be a women's, women's lib rally in their neighbourhood. Barbara had organised it with her college chum Fran, whose family Pamela knew. Pamela went to the rally in the local church, mainly to amuse herself and to hear what the younger generation had to say. Coloured balloons and paper streamers hung from the rafters and the sills of stained glass windows. Pamela was surprised to see young Connie, Haynes, mother of two small children, preaching away like a convert. Working women need free state nurseries, shouted Connie. And her last words were almost obliterated by applause. An alimony, the legalised soaking of divorced husbands must go. Cheers. Cheers, women got to their feet clapping and shouting. State nurseries, Pamela envisaged streams of working women. They only thought they wanted to work. Abandoning their homes at 8am, parking their tots somewhere, bringing home paychecks at the end of the week to houses where the next meal wasn't even ready or on the stove. Many women were now raising their hands to be given the floor, so Pamela raised her hand too. There was a lot she wanted to say. Men are not against us, one woman cried out from a pew. It is women who hold us back. Selfish, cowardly women who think they'll be losing something by demanding equal pay for equal work. Mm. My husband, Connie began, because she suddenly had the floor again and was speaking in an even louder voice, is about to take his final exams to become a doctor and we're worried because we can hardly make ends meet. I've got to stay home and look after the two kids. If we hired a babysitter, it would cancel out my earnings if I took a job. That's why I'm in favour of free state nurseries. It's not that I don't want to work. It's not that I'm too lazy to take a job. More applause and cheering. Now Pamela got to her feet. State nurseries, she said, and she had to be heard because her voice overrode all the others. You younger people, I'm 42, seem not to realise that a woman's place is in the home. To make a home that you'll be breeding a generation of delinquents if a generation of state nursery raised children a general uproar silenced Pam, Pamela and it was a pilot then Pamela for a moment that has not been proven a girl's voice yelled an abolition of alimony maybe you're against that too someone else demanded it was her daughter Barbara the faces had become a blur Pamela recognized some of them neighbors since years but in a way she couldn't recognise them in their new environment, in their new roles of attackers, enemies. As for alimony, Pam resumed, still on her feet, it is a husband's job to support the family, is it not? Ooh. Even when a wife has walked out, asked someone. 
Do you know some women are getting away with murder and it's giving women a bad name? Every divorce case should be examined separately, cried another voice. Women will be victimised, Pamela shot back. The abolition of alimony has been called a licence for Casanovas and that it is. It will destroy a woman's meal ticket. Chaos. Now the fat was in the fire. It had perhaps been an unfortunate choice of phrase, meal ticket, but at any rate the whole congregation or mob was on its feet. Pamela's adrenaline rose to meet it. She realised also that she had to protect herself because the atmosphere had suddenly turned nasty and hostile. But she was not alone. At least four women, all neighbours and all somewhat middle-aged like Pamela, were on her side and Pamela saw that the armies were ranging, ranging themselves in groups or knots. Voices rose still higher. Hymnals began to fly. Splot! Revolutionaries! Homebreakers! I suppose you're anti-abortion too. An egg hit Pamela between the eyes. She wiped her face with a paper tissue. Where had that egg come from? But of course many of the women had their shopping bags with them. Tomatoes arched like red bombs through the air, apples also. The din resembled a loud cracking of hens. Not cracking of hens, poor hens. Cackling, cackling of hens. Or of some other kind of bird, much disturbed within a confined space. The sides were not lined up. Groups fought among one another at close range. Whop! That had been a tin of something walloped over a woman's head. Oh dear in retaliation for, so the attacker averred, a worse offence. Umbrellas, at least three or four, were being brought into play now. Listen to what I'm saying. Stop the fighting. Everybody sit down. Where's the chairwoman? Some women were leaving, Pamela saw, making a crush at the front doors. Then to her own surprise, she found she had a sturdy uh, footstool in her hands and was about to hurl it. Goodness, how many had she thrown already? Pamela dropped the stool on her toes and ducked just in time to avoid, avoid being hit by a cabbage. But it was a two pound tin of baked beans that did for Pamela, catching her smack in her right temple. She died within seconds and her assailant was never identified. Ooh, goodness me, that's um, controversial, gives us all food for thought. I mean, you've got to remember that this was uh, written, I'm trying to see when this was first published, so obviously um, views were different in those days. Oh, this was written, right, 1975, goodness me. I mean, 1976 I left school and uh, yeah, there was still um, some people that believed that uh, women and mothers had to stop at home and be the housewife but uh, uh, things were starting to change and, and uh, hmm, I don't know where I'd have been if I had to work when my boys were young but hey please put some comments down below it would be interesting to see what everybody thinks I mean uh, yeah this day and age um, yeah I think uh, there'd be more than a few tins of baked beans slung at people <laughs> So anyway, give this a try. I really love reading this. Little Tales of Misogyny by Patricia Highsmith. So now I'm going to go on to the giveaway. Now, as you know, um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, that David's been under the cardiologist and he's still going to be having ongoing treatment. Uh, a specialist hospital, uh, Castle Hill near Hull. So because of all the kind treatment and some of the pioneering uh, research and uh, medical trials that he's going to be uh, possibly involved in the future because of this rare rare problem they've found we felt like we want to put a bit of something back so what i'm going to do is i've i've thought about this and i'm going to do a giveaway and um there's going to be a donation to the heart foundation british heart foundation so that further research can be done. So I'm really excited about that. So the book I've chosen as the giveaway, and I think it's quite apt, is Pig Heart Boy, Mallory Blackman. 
Um, now, I have reviewed this before. I really enjoyed this. This is about a young lad that without some pioneering heart surgery using a pig's heart, he would die. Um, and, you know, it's it's a really good read. It, it sort of makes you think a little bit about, you know, if you were in that position or if you were the parent of, of uh, somebody in that permission. And so the giveaway is this. Now, what the conditions of this giveaway are is that you need to be subscribed to my channel. In the comments down below, you need to write something in the comments and put the word heart. OK, so that's the first thing you need to do. And then what I'd like you all to do is think about friends, people that be interested in books, be interested in my channel. If you can recommend somebody um, just one person to a new subscriber to my channel or some of you that have been watching for a while but haven't yet subscribed press that red button and then what you need to do if you're a new subscriber is write new heart in the comments down below so existing subscribers write heart and new subscribers write new heart now you will all be entered into the draw for this wonderful book and for every new subscriber, I'm going to um, give a pound to British Heart Foundation. Now, unless we suddenly get thousands of new subscribers and then obviously I've got thousands of pounds to give away. So I have to put this little disclaimer in that, you know, it'd be lovely to get thousands of new subscribers, but I haven't got thousands of pounds to give away. But, you know, I'd still like to, we'd still like to make a nice contribution to help others as, as David's been helped. So... Um, I'm going to put all the details down below so it's heart if you're already subscribed and it's new heart for every new subscriber so please please get on board with this it's a very important cause you know we never know when ourselves or somebody in our family might need um, you know some of this uh, new technology and new research into um, you know the most precious thing in our body really is our heart and uh, um, keeps us going for a long while and, and keeps us you know in love and spreads love so yes so thank you for joining me this is the giveaway and see you again next time bye for now oh and by the way um, this is open until the 10th of May okay so we've got nearly a month uh, so please, you know, rally around this good cause. Um, loads of lovely things coming up on my channel. So for any new subscribers, um, you know, it'd be nice for you to join on this, this journey. And um, yeah, see you soon. Bye.